Hello. For today's tutorial, we're going to go over common best practices for capturing fingerprints, things to look out for, and other elements that are going to make you successful. Please note that it's best to go through the basic quick enrollment tutorial prior to moving on to this one. Likewise for today, I'm going to lower the minimum quality to 20 to allow me to capture poor fingerprints for examples. So let's begin. I've started by selecting a random user, Tom and Jerry, at the very top. And we're going to start by capturing the most common error, and this is fingertips. Fingertips for identifying users are not very valuable because they contain little to no information. However, in a lot of cases, it's very natural to capture the fingertips in a system. So we're going to start with an example of this. Generally, when you see someone's fingertips captured, the very top of the actual image will have the rounded tip of the person's individual finger. The core of the actual finger will not be in the center of the screen, and the quality score will generally be under 40. Even though this profile has the ability to work very well in the field, the critical data that they need to be successful is not getting captured and scanned. Helping coach users to ensure that their fingertips are not captured, and capturing the core of the fingerprint is critical to success. So I'm going to re-enroll this user with the same fingerprint and show you what a good capture looks like. Now you'll notice here that the core of my fingerprint is placed center in the actual capture screen. The fingertip at the very top is cut off and almost non-existent in the template capture and each score is almost 100 to 95 throughout the process. It is okay to not have the full finger on the actual template capture, but rather the core of the fingerprint, as this is where all the data occurs. The next most common error is pressing too hard. Generally, people, when they have errors or issues, start to press harder and harder on the scanner surface, and this actually blurs the fingerprint. Now you'll notice during that capture process, even though I'm using the same finger and I have an okay score, a lot of the data and the core of the fingerprint is actually missing. Generally the pressure you want to use for a fingerprint capture is like resting your finger on a desk, table, or armrest. It shouldn't ever be hard or painful to place your finger on this fingerprint scanner surface. So let's again enroll the same fingerprint with the right pressure. The core of the fingerprint is again now clearly seen. The information that's valuable is shown on the actual template capture. And the quality score is much higher than the previous capture. So moving on to the third most common miscapture practice. And this is generally when an individual places their fingertip or comes in at a 45 degree angle. Your fingerprint should always be flat on the scanner surface for both the production readers and the BioMini capture device. These captures are generally indicated by very misshapen images of fingerprints. The actual detail and circular nature of the print do not show, and pieces of data and information are missing. If you rest your finger on the actual ledge of the enrollment scanner, you can avoid this practice when enrolling users. The last element is the tendencies for users to enroll their thumbs or pinkies. The thumb as a fingerprint is okay to use. However, most users, especially those with bigger hands, do not fit very well on the scanner surface. It is also very difficult to get the core of the fingerprint, and there's a higher propensity for users to capture the fingertip. Therefore, the last finger you should try after the index and middle fingers should be the thumb. In the field, especially with the devices, it'll be very difficult and hard to place and will likely result in errors. Just for the example, I'll re-enroll my thumb with the core to show you what it looks like. Even though I have high scores, I have to arch my hand and my finger to actually get it flat on the scanner surface. This part is unnatural and generally will cause issues for users. That concludes this tutorial on best practices and common issues. Thank you.